is 22 to 23. It's, it's, this is a 23rd lot at the very top on the other side of that little spur, but uh, most likely 22. Uh, just to give you a quick little history on this piece of property here, the city has owned that for a long time, and they've tried a number of times to get um, to, to, to get other nonprofits or for profits to develop it, and they've not been successful over their time in that. We talked to the city about this. The city of Asheville wanted, I think it was about $565,000 to buy this property. We've got a, a approximately another uh, $500,000 in development costs. And that was going to put lots in the $48,000 to $50,000 range, which just really puts it out of our, our client's uh, range. But the houses are no longer affordable. The city has graciously agreed that in a sense, they're donating this property to us. The way it works is we will not pay for the purchase of this property. We are paying for the infrastructure work. On each time we close on one of those houses, the city will get a note deed of trust for approximately $22,000 that will protect their, their interest in that. If the homeowner ever sells that property, that note becomes due and payable to the city. But in the meantime, the homeowner is living there without having to pay for the dirt really good. I mean, that makes it work for us. If a family moves into that house when it sells, that makes 80% or less of median income, the loan is assumable. So it's, it's maintaining workforce affordable housing for a long period of time. That's the intent behind that. This property up here is Johnston Boulevard, and uh, Johnston Boulevard is this piece right here from the area. And we will, um, the, the gentleman who was born and raised in this house that we were going to tear down is uh, moving that house to a piece of property he has. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we like that. That's, you know, some, a lot of uh, memories and, uh, and history tied up there for him. So he'll be moving that house uh, to his own property. And that there will be another 25 uh, lots for us. And we also have under um, negotiation with the city this piece of property, which is also out close to the review, it's, um, it's some ways away from the review, but it's in that percent vicinity, so you have an idea. And we're working on the same, we're having the same conversation right now as we have on the Brotherton property with the city, and that will be 55 single-family homes, but our intent is probably to push that up to uh, 65 to 70 with some duplexes that we would put on this property. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of that there. And then these are renderings here of, of the property next door that we will go and look at um, shortly, 33 Meadow Road. So.